<sighs> so I'm back from my trip. I was away for 10 days and I wanted to let everyone know what happened uh, while I was away. So I didn't I planned to go to the trip and I wanted to work out while I was there. It was all planned and everything. I brought all my clothes and uh, <laughs> when we got there we were just so busy and I wanted to work out but I didn't have the energy to work out and I just never did. So while I was there I was eating a ton. I, I, everything I, I wanted to eat I ate. I ate burgers, I ate snacks, I ate chips, I ate chocolate. Everything was on the menu while I was while I was there, so I enjoyed myself on, on that part as well, as well as a lot of sightseeing. And I also celebrated my birthday while I was there, so I had a like legit whole cake to myself. Actually, any trip that I go on, I usually get sick uh, because one, um, I kind of throw my whole system out of whack because I'm eating foods that I'm not normally eating. Uh, I'm not sleeping the normal cycle. Um, I, I usually go to bed really late while I'm on the trip and wake up super early. So uh, average maybe a couple hours of sleep each time. So I know that's not the best thing for my body. Um, that's just that's just the choice that I made that I want to do that because I want to see as many things as possible and do as much as possible. So it defeats the purpose of going on the trip and. Uh, and relaxing. It's, I usually go on a trip and and see everything and then when I get back is when I sort of catch up with everything and going through the Tanita, um, my weight as of right now is 78.3 kilograms. Uh, I left uh, at 78 so I gained uh, 0.3 kilograms which is nothing really. It could, could be the the water I drank before, um, so I don't know if I gained any weight. I, I, it's uh, it's not a control test or anything. My body fat percentage, which is interesting, because when I left, I was at nine point nine percent, and now I'm at eleven. Um, that could be because one, I my age went up on one scale, uh, so that could slightly affect it. And of course, I was eating a ton of food while I was in Korea so um, yeah, so everything kind of went up just a, a little bit so it's not really it's not really anything um, so yeah those those are two main things I usually look at uh, muscle mass went up as well um, but this basically any any scale you use um, it's it's really just a point of reference it's not really accurate I don't think um, it's just for you to at least measure something. If you don't measure anything, you don't know which direction you're going in. So it's just a tool for you to to know what things to tweak and, and do so you can improve. I think if you go on a trip, um, it's okay not to work out um, unless you're competing. Like I'm not competing at anything at any time soon. So for me, it was okay for to just let loose, eat what I want. Uh, was it the most healthiest thing? Probably not. Was it very good for my spirit and mental attitude? Probably that was probably the best thing for me. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed eating all those nice food and going here and experiencing this and experiencing all kinds of stuff. So. Um, Ultimately, it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to eat kind of like that. To me, because I'm not competing in anything, I think it's fine as long as when you get back and get back into your normal habits, uh, you'll be fine. You're not gonna, you're not going to lose, um, you're not gonna lose any of your gains or gain all the weight back if you lost some of the weight. And even if you did, your habits should set you up so you can go back to there. It's, it's easier to get back to something than to learn something new. So just enjoy, just enjoy life. Like for me, my philosophy is, is 
you know, you don't have to always be training like a beast or looking like a certain way. You want to look relatively nice and you want to eat relatively good and also enjoy the nice foods so that you can enjoy life. Because food is really, it's life, honestly. Uh, um, to restrict someone and say, you can't eat this, you can't eat that. Um, I, I don't think it's the best way, um, but uh, to each person their own. So 10 days, if you don't work out, you won't lose anything. If anything, you probably rest your body and it's even, you, you come back even stronger. You might just take a few days to, to get back into the swing of things, but uh, for people who are injured or had an injury or go on a trip and, and just can't work out, the doctor tells you you can't work out for the next two weeks, don't be worried about not working out. You can do other things, learn something new, uh, replace that time, and uh, don't worry about it. You have time later on to get back to what you were before. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.